Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. And today's video is going to be testing out a new palette from Glamlight. So I ordered the Ice Cream Dream palette from Glamlight, which comes in this really big ice cream truck box. But today we are testing out this palette. It is a pastel themed palette with a cute little packaging. And on the inside it's more of a pastel themed thing, which is why we're wearing the hair and everything, which is why I don't look like myself normally. But today we're testing out this palette. It retails for $45. I also picked up a $12 pair of the chocolate co chocolate, I want to say chocolate cocoa, chocolate taco lashes from them. So we're going to do a look together, see what I think of this palette. It is like their biggest launch so far. They've had way more in stock than ever. I'll leave it linked down below for you. It's still in stock. They also have Afterpay, which is what I did for this order because Afterpay is a savior. And let's go ahead and get into today's video. Of course, these are my own personal opinions. I disagree on anything. It's cool. It's just makeup not that serious. And of course, if you would like to, I do have coffee tips down below. So if you want to leave me a $3 one-time tip, I'd appreciate it. I always leave it down there. Once in a while, I'm going to mention it just because I have it there and I never forget. I never seem to mention it. But if you like the content and want to do that, that's cool. If not, I also appreciate you watching my videos, which helps me out just as much. And now let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. This is the big box that it comes in, which I thought you had to like order the PR box set or whatever to get the big box. I just ordered the regular palette and it came in the big box, so that's cool. And then it has like little ice creams and stuff, the Sunday shakes and cones. You open up the big box and there's your palette inside. I also tried to get this out earlier and it was kind of hard to get it out. There are like two points where you can grab it. Obviously, you can open it up inside the giant box and see the beautiful color scheme, but getting it out of this big box isn't the easiest in the world. <laughs> Why is this so hard? If I open it up, okay, I can open it up and slide it out easier, but let's go ahead and get started with the look. Okay, so I'm taking this small Morphe blending brush to start off with, going into our beautiful palette here. And what I wanna do is I wanna pick two shades over the crease, and then I'm gonna carve it out and put a bunch of shades on the lid, which I think is gonna be really nice. Ooh. Hold on, I have my pinky in this French vanilla shade, which looks so icy. Ooh, it's wet. Oh, see, I don't know if all these are gonna work properly. Some of these are like super shock, you know, like super shock formula where it's kind of wet. I'm just gonna pop this in my inner corner. I already have highlight in there. Oof. Mm, look how bright. Just love a bright inner corner. Okay, distractions. Distractions by icy white shades, that happens. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like a chunkier, wetter, super shocky consistency on that one. But for the crease, I'm going to go into Mochi, which is this light pink matte. I'm going to kind of coat the brush, tap off for excess, and I'm going to add this to the first half of the crease. Oh, for being a light pink like that, it's pretty pigmented so far. You could also take the shade of bubblegum underneath it if you wanted it slightly darker of a pink. Cleaned up a lot of the product off the brush. This is what it's looking like. It's really cute and pastel. Now I'm going to take, you know I want to use mango because it's a yellow, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go into Cookie Mar Monster, which looks like an indigo kind of color. I'm gonna coat the brush with that, tap off our excess, and do the second, this piece of hair, like I keep wanting to lay it right down like this, but then it covers up everything. Well, I guess that works behind the ear, but I'm just gonna add this to the second half of our crease. In between the colors is a little bit of like a transition shade. I'm going to go into a little bit of honey lavender, which is this purple. Just a little bit and just put it right in between. So I went ahead and carved out my lid space with a little bit of cut crease canvas from Makeup Revolution. I'm going to wipe off that same brush. It's a little flat brush from Domini Cosmetics. And let's do some shimmers now because I feel like... I'm gonna pick a couple because we have some lid space. So I'm gonna start off. Ooh, I really wanna use this shade in there. Mmm. Maybe we'll do green in them. I don't, this is not gonna make sense visually, but it's gonna be fine. So what I wanna start off with is French Vanilla, which is the light icy white shade that I put in my inner corner to begin with. I'm just gonna put that in the very, very innermost part of the lid. And if it gets like the shimmers or whatever get outside of our cut crease, it's fine. I'm probably gonna separate it with probably like some glitter when I add my lashes and stuff anyways, um, to give it that more cut out carved look. Okay, I'm gonna clean off the brush again. I would have a little bit of something something on the lid. Now I'm gonna move on to the shade 
lemon, which is this yellow because we can't avoid the yellows when I do a look. I'm gonna pick that up on the brush. It picked it up pretty nicely, but I can still kind of see through it. So I'm gonna add that right before the center. It is kind of that wet, smushy consistency, um, which I'm not like opposed to when I'm using my finger, which I usually use a finger for the shimmer. But for something like this, where like a makeup artist would probably reach for this as their go-to pastel palette, um, this does, like you can still see through the shade. Like it's not the most opaque thing in the world. So I would see issues with that. Um, it's one of those smushy, gushy, ushy consistencies, but they have such a beautiful wet shimmer formula that for like most people who use their fingers like I do, I don't think it'd bother them, but for professionals, I think it would. So the next shade I'm gonna dip into is Birthday Cake, which is this like really beautiful aqua green kind of color. What's, no, aqua's more blue, so it's more of a turquoise, which is more green. Put this right in the center. This doesn't match our crease colors at all, but like this color scheme has such a variety of things. I mean, you could just do a neutral look. There's so many golds in here. Um, but I just wanted to try a whole bunch of shimmer colors. So I'm gonna put this right in the center. They're all that kind of smushy consistency. They look like they have different finishes in the pans, but all three that I've tried so far have that kind of uh, malleable, smushable consistency. Cleaning off our brush again. I don't know what I want to do now. I feel like we have so much. I don't know. Let's do a blue, I guess. There's only one. There's like all these bluey greeny shades, and there's only one blue. There's only one green. <laughs> like there's so many golds and stuff up top. Um. I guess next I'll dip into. Ooh, oh, that's one of my favorite things. Like a blueberry cheesecake milkshake. So I'm gonna dip into blueberry cheesecake. I don't really know if blueberry cheesecake itself, I'm gonna use the side I haven't used on this brush. I don't know if the like blueberry cheesecake itself is like the best dessert, but like a blueberry cheesecake ice cream or a blueberry cheesecake milkshake. Delicious. And this is an ice cream themed palette. So blueberry cheesecake ice cream, so freaking good. I love cheesecake flavored stuff though. I know a lot of people who like cheesecake, but don't like cheesecake flavored things. But for me, like cheesecake flavor things with like, you go to uh, Dairy Queen, you get like a blizzard, like a cheesequake blizzard with like the chunks of cake in it. It's over, it's just so delicious. How do people not like that? It's so good. I'm just finishing up our lid with this shade too, which is not the brightest, but I do kind of like the lavender effect to it. And I also think I didn't blend these shades together. They're kind of like sectioned off too well, but like, I think it'll be okay. Mmm, blueberry cheesecake. Now I want ice cream. But who wants ice cream at noon? <laughs> okay, next up for the lower lash line, I'm going... Actually, it looks okay. Like, this looks kind of fun. For lower lash line, I'm going to take two colors. I'm going to take... Let's do mango for the inner portion, and then for the outer portion, we'll take mint chocolate so we're gonna go from yellow to this kind of pastel blue shade which on camera looks a lot lighter than it does in person maybe the yellow was the bad idea because it's really just like getting dark <laughs> so because it's not on top of primer it's just on top of my natural like skin and foundation stuff neither one of these colors really want to stick that well they do kind of transition in the middle and make a nice green, which I do appreciate them really blending well together. But they're not really standing out as much as I would like them to. Um, so that's unfortunate. There's not a yellow I can use to like brighten it up and the green I could just deepen it up would be too, too green, I think. So this is my lower lash line. Very light, but I'm gonna add like some liquid shadow and like mascara and stuff to the bottom. So I don't think it's gonna matter. I'm going to go pop on some lashes, finish my face off camera, and I'll be right back. We'll show you the finished look, which hopefully will come together really nicely because right now it's looking like a lot. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the finished look using the Ice Cream Dream palette from Glam Light. So here it is up close. The look up close looks really nice. I think this looks really pretty. I also added a little bit of glitter to separate our cut crease, like I said, and I added the lashes that I've got from the collection as well. So I bought these lashes from them because I actually really like Glam Light lashes, especially Deep Dish, like my favorite ones, like a lot of them I don't like, 
but then like deep dish I love so much that it makes up for the ones that I don't like but I ordered the dessert ones that came with this collection or you could buy with the collection I should say the chocolate taco lashes um they're I mean they're kind of like spiky flary I think I need to cut them a little shorter because they kind of droop down on the sides but honestly they feel very comfortable and they're very lightweight and I kind of like the little flares so the chocolate la the chocolate taco lashes pretty good overall my thoughts on the palette I like, I like that this is like movable, but it doesn't make too much noise because no one wants a really noisy eyeshadow palette, especially if you want to travel with it. But I don't know who's going to travel with a pastel palette. Someone would. But I like that this moves around here. I think it's really cute. This is a cute compact size. The big box I might throw away. Is that bad? Because it's just so bulky now compared to the palette. The color scheme inside, it's a lot more neutral than you would expect. But again, like chocolates and caramels and stuff are more neutral colors. Can you look in here? There's like a lot of gold shimmers a lot of very similar gold shimmers like those are kind of similar so overall i really like the color scheme for being a pastel palette but not pastel palette where it's unusable you can definitely get some variety out of here overall it's not a palette that i think i'm going to reach for all the time because it isn't my particular color scheme but if you like the more fun things and you like kind of like the wet super shocky consistency of the shimmers i think it'll work out really well again i do think this would be slightly harder to use for professional use because you're not going to use your fingers on a client but if you're using your this for your own personal use like most people are sticking your finger into the shimmer and letting it glide over the lid sounds really easy and i also really like the variety of colors to put on this look that didn't look too overwhelming so i think they kind of go together pretty well i do wish the yellow was stronger the yellow matte i think this is kind of weak I'm sorry. I mean, I've tucked a lot of yellows under my lower lash line on top of foundation. I looked stronger and better than this. So I feel like this yellow is a little weak, but everything else performed really nicely. I'm just a yellow critiquer. Okay. Sorry. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing that. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, I greatly appreciate it if you did that. And I'll see you later, guys. Bye.